All right, now we're, we are recording for YouTube. I want to share this with you, and it has to do with uh, the Father, Yahweh, with the creator of all living things, the heavens, the earth, the universe, and all life and all creation, including us, his children. Uh, Diamond made a, a very, uh, she's in the room, she made a very uh, good point that when we breathe, we say the Father's name. When we breathe in, Yah, when we breathe out, way when a child is born and, and that's a miracle within itself when that baby comes out of the womb and takes its first breath it's almost like it's startled it's yeah and then way and have you ever when not being baptized in full submersion of water when you, you 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 hold your nose and you go back and you're under the water when you come up you catch your breath yeah yeah and then way and and you're saying the father's name every time you breathe you're saying Yahweh you're breathing in Yahweh Yahweh and now when we look at creation I'm going to talk about the signature of divine for a moment speaking life when we look at a bird and 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 the the fowls of the air when they are in with full wingspan their wingspan is forming the shape of a Y when you look at the trees the branches of the trees i'm only going to give you a few short examples as the tree branches are spreading out they're spreading out in in the shape of a y or yahweh um flowers when they bloom and the stem and uh, the uh the leaves of the flower all form the shape of a y are you guys following me so far and i could go on and on because and, and that's right that's right and through all creation we see this the even the antlers on a deer are are shaped in the form of a Y all of God's creation and we are part of God's creation and we have his signature of divine and do you know where it is on your body anybody even the ears sticking up and when we raise our hands and praise we're making the shape of a Y for Yahweh. Right. But he signed all of his creation, and that's how he signed with the birds with their wings in flight and the branches and the antlers on the, the deer or the elk. And I could just go on and on. And the, uh, the stem of a flower and its leaves are coming out in the shape of a Y. All his initial. Where did he sign his children? Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father. You got it. The palm of your hands. If you take a look at the palm of your hand, take your right hand, and you will see his signature. There is the Y. There is the Y. Look at your hand. Do you see a Y? Out of all the fingerprints and of all of the, no two fingerprints are the same, you'll have the Y. Or Yahweh. I just wanted to share that with you. I thought that was uh, uh, very interesting. We are recording. Margaret sees it. You got anybody in the everybody in the room see that now? I think that's simply amazing. I really do. I want to talk about the name Yahweh and the name Yahshua in a moment as well. But let's go to ministry announcements. I want to um, thank the following people that have given to our ministry to the homeless. We really have been having a little bit of a struggle. And uh, the Father God, Yahweh, breathe in. When you breathe in and breathe out, Yahweh, he always provides a way because he is the way maker. For the 29th, I want to thank uh, Jackie, a $100 gift to our ministry to the homeless. And a uh, sister that wishes to remain anonymous, $30 to our ministry to the homeless. And Adam, $13.37. If you feel led to give to our ministry to help those in need, the homeless, and so we can get out there and provide for them, uh, we'll put the link below in the video, and maybe someone can uh, type it in the uh, chat room as well. A lot we're going to discuss tonight, uh, not in our segment for YouTube, but we're going to start talking about these earthquakes that are ramping up all over the place, and these uh, volcanic eruptions, and pre-trib rapture is near, is in the room, and I guess... Uh, he's picking up that there are just a number, number, number of more earthquakes um, 
taking place now in, in Asia. But I'm going to talk about the name, the secret name, Yahweh. Going back to ancient Hebrew scholars and the ancient Aramaic, it was the forbidden name. That was the name that they would not speak. And today, Jewish scholars today will not say Yahweh. They will not say Yahweh. And that is the name handed down from the from the Creator to Moses at the burning bush, the real name of the Father, Yahweh. Now the Father's name reflects the Son's name. But they had to, they can't speak that name, Yah. So when we, many today, even Jewish people will say and write Yeshua, but they will put an E there. They will put Y-E instead of Y-E-H instead of Y-A. And that, by doing that, they're not actually saying the, the most holy of holy names. The Father's name, the Father and, and Son are as one. So, and it's no one's fault, we often write Yeshua with an E. But you're not saying, that way you're not saying that uh, secret name, Yahweh. And it's Yahweh's salvation, but when you put the E there, it's kind of like Satan is sitting back and he's kind of laughing because you're not saying the Father's name. So I just didn't know if anyone knew that. I wanted to share that with all of you. It is Yahshua, Yahweh. Behold the hand, behold the nail. I love you guys, and uh, I'm going to quit recording, and I'm going to come back live, and let's do that now.